Hello. Our passage this morning is taken from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever amen i have become addicted to a tv show called police interceptors you may be familiar with it it follows the careers, the lives the, of various police officers as they go about their duty. The show involves high-speed car chases, criminals on the run, edge of your seat drama. It really is compulsive viewing. But what I find most remarkable about this show is that the police officers do not give up. It would be easier for them to let some of these criminals go, but they keep on pursuing them, driving over grass, down narrow streets, even the wrong way down the street. Their pursuit cannot be stopped by a few obstacles along the way. David was someone who also pursued the Lord throughout his life. He wrote many psalms, such as the one we've just read. And at times, like the police interceptors, David got so close to what he was chasing. One time, David was so close to God that he literally danced all night. At other times, David felt so far from God, though, that he hid his face. Psalm 23 is probably one of the most well-known psalms, perhaps even indeed one of the, the best known passages in the whole Bible. Many of us find it familiar and comforting. Many of us even know it off by heart. And when I find myself experiencing difficulty in life, my mind is often drawn to this passage because I know it so well. I use it at every funeral service I conduct. I read it at just about every remembrance service. It's so well known. But perhaps because it's so well known, we stop appreciating just how beautiful it is. The passage starts with those wonderful words, the Lord is my shepherd. In John's Gospel, Jesus tells us that he is the good shepherd. And the thing about the good shepherd is that the good shepherd knows his sheep. He knows everything about them. He knows when they need pastures, when they need water, when they need protection. He knows everything about them because he knows his sheep. And because the Good Shepherd knows his sheep, the psalm reassures us that I shall not want. I will fear no evil and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. We will have no wants because of the Good Shepherd, because he makes me lie down in green pastures. Sheep lie down when they are comfortable. They don't have any needs of food or water to send them off looking. They are content. The same is true for us. In the presence of the Lord, we have no wants or worries. 
We pray that in the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. The Lord provides, so we don't need to go searching and hunting. We will have no fears because he leads me beside the still waters. The waters of life are no longer scary and choppy and dark and uncertain. They are still. When Jesus was in the boat with his friends and a storm threatened to tear the whole boat apart, Jesus spoke to the storm and it was still. Jesus brought peace and stillness to chaos and darkness. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord because he restores my soul. I don't know how you are feeling today as you listen to this. Are you tired trying to get somewhere and never succeeding? Are you exhausted by life's constant treadmill? Are you beaten down with the weight of other people's expectations or even your own unrealistic expectations? Are you broken by those around you or by the decisions that you have made in life? Our tired and weary souls that have been beaten and broken down by the world will be restored. This gives, gives each one of us the, the wonderful hope that one day our tired and weary souls will be restored, just as Isaiah writes, but those who hope in the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. But then none of this takes away from the reality that for each of us, at times, we will all walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We have all walked that path and we will all walk that path in the future. Maybe you are walking that path today. And the Lord doesn't promise us that if we turn to him, then we will never have to walk through that valley. We will all walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But what God does promise us is that when, not if, when we walk through that valley, we will never have to face it ourselves because he is with us. We follow the Lord of life himself. And the passage draws to an end with perhaps one of the most remarkable statements in the, in, in the whole of the Bible. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. The original word for follow means something much deeper that we miss. The original word means something more like pursue, pursue. Now that changes the whole meaning of the passage for me. So no matter what we have done, where we have been or where we will be, God will pursue us with his love every moment of our lives. Jesus didn't have to walk to the cross, but he did. To show us that love will pursue us whether we respond to it or not, whether we think we deserve it or not, and whether we have become the biggest sinner or the biggest saint in the world. Just like the police interceptors, God is not going to give up just because the ground becomes a bit rocky. He is going to pursue you with his love every moment of your life. Because David knew that God's love would pursue him every day of his life, that's why David could confidently claim and finish his psalm, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord's love will pursue us 
every day of our lives. And he asks us to do just that for those around us, to pursue them with love every day of their lives. Amen.